Hello, my dear Aries. We are going to be um, taking your December reading today. I'm going to be using the Muse to take a look at what's going on with you. And we will be using the Light Seer's Tarot to take a look at what's going on between you and your romantic intra person of interest. So think very hard about who you would like to um, take a look at with regards to your romantic in interest. And um, we will take a look and see what we get. If it looks like an extended will be needed, then I will um, place the link to an extended down below. And these have already been pre-shuffled Aries. So just to let you know, we're just going to be splitting the deck and we are going to get started. Everybody, we will be doing tarot mini reads on Thursday. I will not be doing Twin Flame or Soulmate check-ins during that time. Twin Flame and Soulmate check-ins will be done on the, um, on the 20th. All right, so we have the Four of Voices, the Nine of Inspiration, the Justice card, Page of Materials, the World Cosmos, Ace of Voices, the Devil, the Muse of Emotions, which is the King of Cups, and the Five of Voices. The Magician is on the bottom. Now, interesting, these two cards that are, are following that came out in your pre-shuffle. I chose to place them back in. So let's talk about them. The Knight of Materials and the Emperor. Aries on the work front, I feel like somebody is trying to make something happen with regards to their career. Um, you, may, you may be making a very big move. You may be changing industries. You may be um, seeking a new job seeking some sort of recognition. Things may have been moving on a slow level. Slow and steady wins the race, Aries. I do see you are gonna be victorious about this, regarding this. And there's very likely going to be people that are on your side. And I see a great deal of admiration. Aries, I feel that you're holding yourself back a little bit. Um, you may be holding yourself back because you feel that you're not good enough or you may be dealing with imposter syndrome, something of that nature. Um, but it looks like you may be holding yourself back, kind of afraid you're going to get burned, afraid you're going to get hurt in the process or that you'll be seen in a negative light. For some of you, this is a management position or this is something involving social media or something online. Um, could be computer development as well for some of you. That's what it looks like this magician energy is all about. The magician energy says you have everything that you need, Aries, to make this happen. You have all the knowledge that you need. You have all the resources that you need. You have the um, intellect that you need, you have the passion and drive that you need, you literally have everything you need to make this possible. So the world here at the center of your reading indicates that you are about to go through a brand new cycle in your life. You're putting something behind you and you're moving forward. All right, Aries, excuse my language, but I fucking love this card right here. I really do. This is my favorite card in the whole deck. This is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is where you've been through the battle, you've been through the war, you've been through the difficulties, but you're still standing, right? And why are you still standing? Because you are a bad arse that can make something happen. In this particular deck, they show the essence of the Nine of Wands. The essence of the Nine of Wands is an energy where you do not let something get in your way of accomplishing a task. You do not let anything get in the way of you seizing an opportunity. You keep going. No matter what roadblock, no matter what delay, no matter what struggle has befallen you in the past, you keep going. And why? Because you have this inner confidence. You have that Mars energy. This is so very Mars when I look at this particular card. And Mars is your ruler. You have that energy of Mars, that drive, that ambition, that ability to make something happen in your life. It's a, 
a go-getter energy is what Spirit just said. And there's so much orange here. And orange is uh, related to the sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra is where from the work front, when we're looking at career success finances, the sacral chakra is where we get that ambition. We get that drive. We get that, that uh, strength to just keep going until we achieve what we want to achieve. I feel for some of you, but not all of you, for some of you, there's been some sort of brilliant idea with regards to the work front, with regards to starting a new business or something of that nature. A brilliant idea that came to you during a time of rest that I feel you have not been able to release. It's like, okay, I know I need to do this. I know this is what I want to do. This is absolutely what I want to accomplish. I don't care how many times I fall. I'm going to get right back up. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an energy of you finally emerging and receiving what it is that you desire. This feels work related. So what, don't worry, Aries, we'll get into love. Um, click, click, uh, the click below. You'll see the little titles. If you want to jump to love and come back to this, that's fine too. Always happy to have you here. Um, cross watchers, it could be good for you to watch what's going on with Aries so that you know, okay, they're dealing with something work related. Maybe they're not communicating as much, or maybe they're, you know, not attentive as much because their energy is on something else. Their energy is focused on, on achieving a great big goal. Now, our King of Cups the muse of emotions. Our king of cups is an energy of, you know, maintaining a level emotional state. And when you're able to maintain a level emotional state, you have that, that opportunity to channel any kind of emotions you have, channel it into drive and ambition, channel it into achievement. And so I feel that you're in a really good place right now, Aries. It looks great. You are going to get what you want, justice. You may have to get up, you know, you may fail, get back up, fail, get back up, fail, get back up. But there's going to be that one thing, that one time where you get back up and you're clearing your pathway to get to your goal. So here's the epiphany. Here's the epiphany. The epiphany that leads you to achieving what you want to achieve, to getting what it is that you desire. With the five of voices, you may have to an, extend an olive branch to someone, so just be aware. Highly possible. Interesting. I'm going to be clarifying this. Interesting, the four of wands, or four of swords, same energy here flew out. So Aries, you may have been a little bit stagnant in the past. That's okay. That happens to us. Ooh, look at that. A little bit out of balance. All right, Aries, let's see what we got. We've got the six of cups. Strength card, Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. See, Five of Swords, Five of Swords. You are going to have to extend an olive branch to somebody. To get what you want, you have to fix another situation. But it could be that you're fixing a situation that has nothing to do with work. Because in doing so, it changes your karma, right? It changes things and opens up a doorway for you. Keep that in mind. Oh, look at that, the Emperor. Totally you. I mean, this is Aries, Aries and Scorpio, Mars energy. Not only do you have everything you need to achieve this goal or this desire, but you have intense confidence and the ability to plan, the ability to take any take on anything. Um, four voices, six of cups. So you may have reflected back on the past of how you previously were going after this job opportunity or this leveling up in your current career 
or school or something of that nature because this does not appear to be love related. So looking back on, on what worked and what didn't, right? Why things moved pretty slowly. Knowing you were on the right track though, perhaps you felt a little bit stuck and that's why it was, it was constantly in your mind. Here we have that strength. Look at that. I told you this is this amazing, strong, confident person. And we see that here with the strength card. They're just illuminating that for us. With the Page of Wands, you're going to have to take some sort of action, some sort of inspired action in order for you to achieve this goal or, or get this desire. Um, there is an end to some sort of difficult situation from the past, but it does look like you're going to have to extend some sort of olive branch to somebody and then move on. Um, moving on is going to be super important. Three of Swords, King of Emotions. So the Three of Swords could be a loss of a job from the past. It could be a difficult situation that you went through externally to this job situation or the school school situation. And um, the whatever external circumstances is, it could be literal grief. But whatever um, external circumstance this is, it looks like you are you have recovered from that or are in the process of recovering. Here's the leap of faith along with the, with the epiphany. So it looks really good. I see you going after a goal. Um, for many of you though, I feel this is a career change. If not a career change, a leveling up in your current career. It uh, appears that you may be, move, some of you may be moving into some sort of um, team leader role or management role or something of that nature. Uh, some of you also may be starting your own business as well. But it looks fantastic. You're ready for this, Aries. Absolutely ready. All right, let's take a look at what's going on on the love front for you. Also been pre-shuffled. All right. Love front, December for Aries. We have the Justice card yet again. Seven of Cups, the Magician yet again. It's almost like when, um, when you fix whatever was going on on the work front for you, it looks like it also makes some sort of impression on your love interest. So whomever this love interest is, Look at that, Knight of Pentacles, super important stuff here. Ten of Pentacles, fantastic. The Emperor, look at them looking at you as long-term potential. Wow. Six of Wands, Five of Cups, the Hermit, and the Death card. All right, so when we see the Death card, just to note, this is your overall energy. When we see the death card, the death card is not a bad card. Um, oftentimes people who are brand new to tarot, and there must be one of you watching that's brand new, so I need to clarify this. Often um, for people who are brand new to tarot, um, when, when we see the word death, we, we equate it to a physical death, right? We equate it to uh, a loss of life. But when it comes to tarot, death actually means rebirth. It means change. It doesn't mean so it doesn't mean a physical loss. It means a change in circumstances, a change in a situation, a change in you know, a location or a change in a romantic connection or whatever we happen to be looking at at that time. It's a rebirth. It's an opportunity to let go of some sort of difficulty from the past some sort of struggle from the past in order to open yourself up to something brand new. So Aries, here we have your person's overall energy is they're letting go of something from the past in order to have a fresh start. So if the two of you are married, because we do have the 10 of coins here, if the two of you are married and there has been a difficulty that has occurred between the two of you, I believe that your person, your person of your spouse is at a point of being ready to let that go in order to have a fresh start with you. But this means that they also have to change their behavior. You may have to change your behavior or something of that nature. That's for those of you that are married. 
for those of you that are in a long-term committed relationship, there is a focus on releasing some sort of traumatic struggle from the past to move forward. Seems to be related with some sort of some sort of regret and perhaps not really knowing what the future holds. It could be areas that your person is going, you know, I don't know where I'm going to be in 10 years. I'm not sure if this is going to work out. I don't know where I'm going to be in two years. This could also be somebody who has so many options that perhaps in the past they may have chosen somebody over you and now there's a regret regarding that situation because they see a potential future with you Aries because they're over here looking at this emperor it's facing this emperor and the emperor is Aries right we already talked about that the emperor's ruled by Mars so that's you so I do believe that this person Aries is trying to fix a situation with you and that's why we have the releasal of something difficult from the past. It looks like they're trying to fix a situation with you. With the Justice card, they're trying to see how do I make something right with my Aries. Or this could be you with them. I mean, we can swap this and vice versa. So cross watchers, if you're watching and you say, no, that's Aries, that's perfectly okay. Swap the characters. Because I could be picking up on your energy. But somebody wants to make something right regarding a peaceful resolution. They want a peaceful resolution to a situation with you, Aries. And they have been thinking about this long and hard with this particular Hermit card. This is not something they have taken lightly. It is something that they have put a great deal of thought and effort into. But they want to bring a peaceful resolution to something that may have happened in the past. For those of you that are not dealing with struggles from the past, then this is a situation in which this person is wanting to create a sense of stability with you, Aries. However, there is some regrets about past actions. If this is a brand new connection for you, Aries, this person has regrets about something that happened in a previous relationship with another individual. They are going to have to release themselves from that, that difficult energy in order to have this peace with you. I see that they feel that you're kind of like, I hate to use this word, but it's sort of like, you're that, the, the trophy girl, the trophy guy, right? <laughs> you're the person they want on their arm, right? They want to show you off. They want the world to see, you know, hey, look, look what I caught. I caught the Aries. But they're also extremely blocked when it comes to a committed relationship. For those of you that are not married, not already in a long-term relationship, there's a blockage here with regards to commitment. It could be that this particular person has been through such difficult times in the past that those particular difficult times have led to this person putting up many walls. Trying to break through those walls and barriers for them may be difficult. They are aware that something needs to change, but yet there is some sort of blockage, some sort of difficulty. For those of you that are married in a long-term relationship, then this is an indication that whatever it was that was happening in the past that was difficult, that needs to be released, uh, it may have caused numerous problems between you and your romantic interest. Now we have the magician, and in this particular deck, the magician is sort of doing some hocus pocus, mumbo jumbo, right? It's sort of like, um, it's almost um, like something you would see in a video game, you know, where they're manipulating the energy. Working with energy is very easy, um, and but if you're blocked, if you're blocked uh, mentally or spiritually, it may be very difficult to do that. So I do see that your person is focused on creating something new with you, Aries, and they're in deep thought on how to make that happen. So this is really good. I see change, 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 change.
Five of Coins, Ace of Cups, the Empress. Look at that. Divine Union, Soulmate, or Twin Flame. The Sun, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups yet again. Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, which we saw before. And look at that, the Ten of Cups. Following that is the Magician. That's interesting. All right, my lovelies. So I do feel that this person is very, very deep in thought regarding their feelings and emotions for you, Aries. In some way, you make them happy. Now, if you've been together for quite some time, this is true love, right? Ultimate love, peace, harmony, and happiness. If this is somebody brand new, though, then you make them happy. They see a sense of a potential, um, potential long-term situation here with you. And um, they want to seize this potential happiness. Now, with the Five of Coins and the Justice card, I do feel that there was something that has happened. If this is a past person or if this is somebody that you are in a long-term committed relationship with or married to, I do see that emotionally there has been some sort of distance. If not emotionally, some sort of physical distance. You could literally be living in two different locations that are not within easy driving distance from each other. It could also be that there was something so traumatic that happened between the two of you that needs to be released that somebody is not sure, can I fix this with the Aries? I don't know if I can fix this with the Aries. Can I fix this with the Aries? Um, they think perhaps it may be too late that they've hurt you too much. They've hurt you too deeply. With the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I feel this person doesn't quite know how to have this new beginning with you. They desire this new beginning with you, or they desire to start something fresh if this is a new person. But because of something that's happened in the past, they're not sure if it's going to be possible. But they're hoping for the new beginning with the Empress. They are trying to create the new beginning here with you. They are desiring a fresh start whether this is brand new or whether this is an existing relationship. With the devil and the knight of pentacles, like I said, I feel like there's been a struggle. The struggle could have been toxic in nature. You could have been dealing with somebody who had to have things their way, my way or the highway. You also could have been um, dealing with somebody that has a dependency problem. When we have, when we have the devil, it can be a, a dependency on alcohol, on drugs, sex addiction, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you could have been dealing with um, something of that nature as well, but does not necessarily have to be. With the sun, and the, it looks very similar because of this mandala here and the sacred geometry, right? It almost looks very, very similar. We never see a couple on the sun card. So I do feel there is this sense of happiness with you. They see happiness with you. They want to experience happiness with you. Here's that, that confusion about the future. Uh, it's possible, Aries, because the Six of Wands is a, a card of victory, that they want to have victory with you over a situation from the past. But like I said, I don't feel they know how to have that. They don't know how to fix this. Um, they are trying to figure that out. For those of you that this is brand new, this person feels like maybe you're out of their league and are you going to accept their offer of a new beginning or offer of a date, offer of um, some sort of love communication? They may feel your way out of their league. With the Ace of Wands and the Six of there are the Five of Cups, it's like this person sees hope now. Maybe they saw no hope in this situation in the past. Perhaps you gave them the cold shoulder. If this is somebody brand new, if this is somebody that you're connected in a long-term connection with, perhaps they felt like things were hopeless. They were not going to move forward. But here's the new opportunity with the Ace of Wands. Um, Three of Swords with the Emperor here. I've, I, there's some concern about whether or not you are upset with them. Um, they're hoping that you're not because they really want to come in and offer you something new, something beautiful. They're hoping that you're not heartbroken over someone else and that your attention is diverted elsewhere. With the Nine of Wands and the Hermit, this person is going to try, try, try. 
They feel uncomfortable. They don't know if you're going to accept them, but by golly, they're coming towards you. Um, so Aries, I am going to go ahead and I am going to, going to extend this. What we're going to do in the extended, um, I'd like to look at the, the divine union for those of you that are dealing with twin flame soulmate. So we, we will definitely look at that. Okay. For those of you that are dealing with a brand new relationship that's making you happy, making you excited, all that good stuff. Um, we're going to take a look at the brand new relationship. How's this person feeling about you? That sort of thing. For those of you that are married or living together in a long-term committed relationship, we will also take a look at that situation as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out, you know, what their thoughts and feelings are here, you know, what their intentions are. And with this particular situation, I'm going to see what needs to be, what needs to change in order for the two of you to um, get closer. And for potential um, soulmate twin flame situation, I'm going to do a, a quick check in on that. Okay. So if you are interested in the extended, stay tuned for the extended preview. My dear Aries, your extended was 29 minutes and many seconds. <laughs> so we looked at several different possibilities. With the new love, for some of you, it is a past love that is returning, which we noted, um, but not for all of you. So I took cards for those of you that this is a brand new love, those of you that this is a, a returning love. I took cards on both of those things. Once we move past the um, new love and returning love, we also took a look at long-term love. So those of you that are married, those of you that are in a long-term committed relationship, those of you that are engaged, living together, et cetera, et cetera, um, we took a look at that. We also, from there, went to the divine unions, the soulmate, the twin flames. We, we looked at that situation and where that is going from there. Um, cards that we took or decks that we used, I used the Gilded Toy Tarot Royale. We also utilized the Grand Lux. Yes, that is the Emperor. We utilized the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. As well as, where did they go? <laughs> My lovely Lenormans. So we looked at the Lenormans as well. Um, so we had a whole conglomeration of things. As you see, there are several cards here. But we looked at several different scenarios and um, as such, it ended up being a 29 minute extended. So if that's of interest to you, there's a link down below in the description box as well as in the comments. And I hope to see you there until your next reading. Love and light. See you then. Bye bye.